welcome to today's vlog. It is super dark right now because it's currently 7.08 in the morning. I wanted to film like our updated morning routine today and usually Cole will sleep. Last week she was sleeping until like 8.30 but this week she's awake at like 7 so she's kind of already making noise up there. So I decided to get the camera now even though it's super dark so I want to film getting her up. But normally I get up at 6.45. We have our blackout blinds in our room and those automatically open at 6.45 so I I love that that's my alarm because it's not like an annoying sound um so usually like five days a week i will get up and work out and since our basement's not done we like used to work out down there and had all our workout stuff down there but obviously the basement's not quite done yet so i just been, have been doing like simple workouts in our living room i have like my weights right here and i keep my workout stuff in that basket so parker usually does not work out with me and he hasn't been going to the gym but today he actually left at seven to go to the gym so i'm kind of just waiting for cove to like actually make enough noise for me to get her up we usually wait and just give her a second to like kind of wake up for the day and then go get her yeah usually i try to wake up early and have my workout done before she's awake but every once in a while she gets on a kick where she wakes up at like seven but i literally just started my workout i'm like one round into my stuff i hope that she will give me a second but i just got like a dumbbell guide thing i want to show it because i bought it from like a like fitness influencer person but i'm doing legs today i did she has i'll put her instagram right here i love her workouts but i bought her like dumbbell guide thing to start yesterday and i did one of her like newest leg workouts on her page a few days ago and i literally could not move for like two days anyways i'm gonna finish that workout or at least just try to do a little bit more of it before i have to get cold up now what you want to do tell me now if you will go with me all the way Okay, that lasted literally probably 30 seconds and she's crying so we'll go get her usually we have a couple things on the stairs that need to be taken up so i'm gonna grab these and put them away sorry it's literally so dark but this is our morning i'm gonna put this book goes in her bathtub this little toy car goes in her playroom which also needs to be cleaned hi sunshine how you sad you dropped your bean Something that I literally just started doing yesterday is picking out her outfit. So I just brought this upstairs, but I'm actually gonna have her wear this today. She wore it the other day for like not very long, so it's not dirty. Should we brush your teeth? Mm. Let's brush up. She's really sad, so we gotta hold on for a second. But I was gonna say yesterday I started bringing down her outfit and brushing her teeth. Usually we do it like after breakfast, but I thought let's try doing that stuff before breakfast so we don't have to come up and down the stairs as many times. Do you wanna brush your teeth? Do you want this one? That one is new, so we can't open that one yet, but we have this one. Or we have this one. Which one do you want? That one. Okay, should we put your toothpaste on? You know I've tricked you. Can you say good morning? Can mommy help you brush them? Mama help you? We gotta go get Luma. So we gotta brush your teeth? All right, it's still super dark, but somebody woke up a little bit sad, huh? <gasps> but you hear Luma? Yeah, let's open the blinds. That will help it be lighter. We'll let Luma outside to potty. Yeah. Let's, you wanna see Luma? Okay, 10 minutes later. I have her sitting on the couch. I have a trolls thing on the TV. Usually in the mornings, unless it's Saturday or Sunday, I try to not have her watch any shows just because I feel like she could be doing a million other things like playing or eating breakfast or whatever. I offered her breakfast. She didn't want it. She's really upset that D-A-D-D-Y is not here. And I just want to have like 20 minutes myself to finish my workout. So she's watching trolls. Parker will be home probably in like 15 minutes. And we don't usually eat breakfast before like eight-ish anyways. So it's 7.30 right now. So I'm gonna finish my workout and she's just hanging out over here with her puppy for a little bit. Thought about um, oops, starting this video over tomorrow because it's like kind of crazy and it's hard to film her, film what I'm doing by myself. And I'm also not gonna like film her crying. This is real. This is the morning routine. It's usually not this crazy, honestly, because Parker's here and she doesn't usually wake up quite this early. But yeah, today I just want to finish my workout. That's like all I want. Daddy's home. Come on. <laughs> the babies are excited for dad. Hey. Oh, oh. Hey. I knocked you over. Are you okay? Come here. Oh, 
She has to show you her trolls. Oh. Okay. New one. Are you showing Daddy your trolls? Are you watching trolls? Okay, time for breakfast. Cove has oatmeal and strawberries and peanut butter. We actually haven't had oatmeal in like a while, but I was gonna make that for both of us today. And then I realized in the fridge, we have some leftover mashed potatoes. And I'll show you guys my favorite way to make them. It's like really, really simple, but I'm gonna have that instead. So she's over here eating and I'm gonna get the pan ready for the potatoes. <laughs> guys so i think that aspen might have mentioned that i woke up early and i went to the gym for the first time in probably like three weeks now i'm getting ready for the day it always feels so good when you wake up early and go to the gym i love how my days go after i do that i don't know why i just always feel like a million bucks anyways i'm getting ready for the day and since i'm getting ready i felt it'd be a perfect time to mention Today's sponsor, today's video is sponsored by Native Deodorant, guys. Right now, I'm currently using some of the eucalyptus and mint flavored. I just barely started using this one for the first time. Before this, I used coconut and vanilla flavor, which is probably one of my favorite, guys. It reminds me of like Hawaii. And then, Aspen's favorite is the unscented. So something cool about native deodorants is they are aluminum free, paraben free, and sulfate free. Something else that I really like about it is the fact that it's not super sticky and it also dries really quickly. They're also made with super simple ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter, which are all just like natural. They're also vegan and cruelty free. They also just came out with a body wash. This is what I've been using. This is the coconut and vanilla kind. It's it smells really good and a little bit goes a long way. And then we also have been trying out their new toothpaste, which I've been really liking lately. All right, so if you guys want to choose from a ton of different options on scents and stuff, and if you want deodorant that lasts a long time, you guys can get three deodorants, which is normally $36. But if you use our link that's in the description right now or on the screen and use code Aspen Parker, you'll get the three of them for $24, which is 33% off. You can also get 20% off of all of the body washes and the toothpaste with our code. So make sure you guys check the link in the description. So yeah, I am basically ready for the day. Now we're going to go get to the rest of today and the rest of the vlog. Okay, so my pan is going. I have my potatoes. I have like a little bit of uh, olive oil spray in here and then you just make a little like potato patty. Pretty sure I've shown this before, but you just like stick it in there and then let it cook for a couple minutes on each side until the outside is like crispy and it's so good. Oh my gosh, these are like so cold. We have kind of a mess, so while those are cooking, I'm gonna clean up. Okay, so I had to break mine apart because they were like getting too big to flip, but this is what they look like when they're done. So they're so good and so easy. One of the reasons I don't like to cook different things for me and her is I'm about to sit down and eat my hot food and she's done with hers. So she's gonna wanna like get down. So usually I like to feed us or like have us both eat the same thing. You ready to get down? Did you eat that whole thing? That's so yummy. Okay, so breakfast is done. Parker just showered. Now me and Cove are gonna shower. A while ago, she was like not enjoying getting in the bath. Like she would just get in and we would wash her and she would get out. So I started showering with her in the mornings because it's just way easier and way faster. So I shower her and then Parker will come grab her and he usually has like her outfit picked out. So we have that right here, her little hair clip, and then he'll bring in like the lotion and all that stuff. So he like gets her ready for the day and it takes her up to brush her teeth. And then we, depending on the day, if I have to like get ready and shoot stuff for the day. Parker will play up in the playroom with her. Or if I'm not getting ready, then like I'll play in the playroom with her. You wanna get in the shower? But yeah, we're gonna shower right now and then play together in the playroom. All right, so now that I'm ready, I'm out of the shower. Aspen, I think she actually said it. She showered with Co. Now it's her, she got her showered. And now it's time to get her ready. So, in the morning we brush your teeth, huh? Can you brush them? 
It's usually a struggle. She'll uh, fight it and then I'll just like let her play with it for a second and then I'll get back at it and then I'll let her play with it again. Then I'm gonna do her hair and usually to do her hair we have to uh, turn on a song for her, like a troll song or just like a YouTube video of one of her favorite shows. And then she'll sit still and let us do her hair. So I'm gonna try and do her hair now. Can I do your teeth more? Hair's all done, we got a clip in the front, and we got a bun in the back. It's kind of a messy bun, it looks really messy, but isn't that the whole point of a messy bun? Now she's all ready, we're gonna go play in her playroom for a bit until Aspen's out of the shower and done, and then get into the rest of the day. All right guys, so fast forward to a couple days later. It's about the same time that it was when I got the last clip. Now uh, we're gonna open up a package for Cove right now so that she has some fun new activities to do. Aspen is out right now, so we're gonna open this up and do some fun new activities. What is this? So fun, we get these boxes every once in a while. We got fun, we got this thing with uh, all the animals and look, they come out. Oh, what's that? I think that's a, is that a sound machine thing. Well, that's gotta be a flashlight, huh? That's a flashlight. You just gotta put batteries in it. Got a little flashlight thing. Good old learning flashcards and stuff. Teach you how to use these to toys the best. If you can't hear that, they're uh, doing the last finishing touches on the basement, so that's gonna be done really soon, and we're super excited for that. We'll be playing down there. Oh, is that a teacup or a, that's fun. It's a little teacup or tippy cup. And then you got a real cup for you. Another a little book. Oh, what's this one? This one looks fun. What do you do with this? Oh look, they're little discs that you... There you go. Nice. Yeah, and then you just drop them in like... Oh, you pack them like that. Oh. Oh, we got some batteries for the flashlight. Oh, cool. And then we got a little box that has like a bunch of little things to practice. Like this little lever. This little lever thing, it's got a little latch, a chain to practice putting in. This is cool, little handle. Fun! Well, we're gonna sit and play with this stuff for a while. Hey guys, I am back. I just went and got my hair done. We just touched up the blonde. I was gonna do a full head of highlights and then when I got there, I was like, let's just do a half head because it's faster. So we did that and then my cousin did some like on the bottom. I've been going to my cousin now for like probably over a year. My mom used to always do my hair, but it's just so hard to like have her do it now because obviously she doesn't like work in a salon or we don't have the salon in our house like we used to. So it's convenient to just like actually go to a salon to my cousin and get it done. Just did that, came home. I know you guys are all gonna say, whoa, you're wearing black. Yes, I am wearing black. This is like one of my only black items that I own besides like black leggings. This top I think is super cute. I love like the neckline of it. So I'll link this down below. We have it in white too on Luca and Gray. But I am gonna be answering the Parker Super Secret Show question today. Um, It is from Alexa Emerson and she says, how tall do you think Cove will be when she's older? And it had like 32 thumbs up. So apparently 32 people wanna know. And I'm 5'4", Parker is 5'8". There's not really a lot, I feel like both European parents are short too. Not short, but like they're not tall. Like my right. dad is the tallest out of everyone. He's like six foot. Right. My mom literally is like five foot. I don't know how tall your parents know, are. I might be giving him a run for his mutton now, your dad. Your dad's not six feet. He's probably six one, six two. I don't know. I think six Corbin, something. my brother is like the tallest in our family. He's like 5'11", almost six foot. But I feel like there's not really a lot of like tall people. How tall do you think Cove would be? I think like oh, I think five, 
small. Three. Yeah. She'll be like your height, if not shorter. Yeah, I don't think she'll be very tall. There's not a lot of like tall jeans besides my dad, but none of my, my siblings. Well, my I guess Avery's kind of tall, tall, but, but we, I, didn't I don't know. Get any of those jeans. We don't have a lot of tall jeans in the stuff, family. Yeah. I think my guess is she'll be like 5'3 when she's like yeah. fully grown yeah. and older. So Probably. yeah, that's how old I think right. she'll be. But that's, that's going to be, I mean, that's how tall. That is going to be all for this video. I think the only thing we didn't get footage of from that morning is her like playing up in the playroom, which like I said, we do most days. I want to film another one of these in a couple weeks when she goes back to like sleeping in a little bit longer. She usually sleeps in till like 7.30 and I feel like I have like a lot more productive mornings and usually she wakes up like happier, which this video of like our morning routine, like that's just how it went. I feel like that's not always like how it is when she sleeps in a little longer because I can like clean the house and do my to-do list for the week and all that stuff. So I'll do like another morning routine when she starts sleeping in a little bit longer, hopefully in a couple weeks or hopefully like in a couple days. She slept until like 7.30 today. Last week it was literally like 8.30. So that was really nice. That's almost too late because then I just like miss her and I'm like, okay, I did all my stuff. <laughs> now what? I'm just like sitting here waiting for her to wake up. Anyways, that is all for today's video. Thank you again to Native for sponsoring. Don't forget to check them out down below and use our code through our link and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Everybody does a lot